The big story tonight, York County deputies are investigating a homicide. And at this hour, they say the suspect is still at large. The investigation is centered around this house on Cattail Lane, not far from the Hampton border. This after a shooting turned deadly. Ten of your size, Jason Marks, was first on the scene. He's now live at York Pocosin Sheriff's Office. Jason. Tom, we've seen a lot of activity right through those double doors, uh, investigators coming in and out, but I can tell you so far they have not made an arrest. Now, earlier tonight, we caught up with friends of the 17-year-old who were just coping with the loss. It's a shame when any person loses their life, especially someone as young as him. York Pocosin deputies say 17-year-old Dylan Peters was shot several times inside his home on Cattill Lane. That's in the Tab area. Crews rushed to the scene and rushed Peters to the hospital where he passed away. I am really upset because he was, he was my friend. Um, you know, I've known him forever. TJ Tillman, who lives down the street, was heading to work around 340 when he saw a man running suspiciously. Just a, a teen, you know, I mean, just a homely looking, you know, running, sagging pants, you know, running out of here, looking behind him, running around. Um, and uh, in this neighborhood, that's not that unusual to see. But, um, you know, when I got the call and I heard, you know, he got shot, I was like, well, that was, that was probably him. The police description of that suspect matches up. Deputies say the victim and the suspect knew each other. It's very, very disturbing. Um, my, ki my, my kids and I were talking about it. We had planned to go rollerblading this afternoon, and we would have blown right past there. So it is very disturbing that this kind of thing is going on. Disturbing to see the police lights and then the crime scene tape around a neighbor's home. Friends say Peters got into the wrong crowd and they feared for his safety. I told him I wasn't going to have a part of it. It was, it was going to get him killed. And it, he just, you know, he started going downhill and I, I wasn't going to, I tried. I, I tried to stop him. As deputies continue to look for the person who took the 17-year-old's life, friends say that fear is now a sobering reality. I'm definitely going to miss him. A lot of hurt tonight in the Tab area. Now, deputies gave us a very vague description of the suspect, only that he's either between 17 and 19 years old. If you have any information, give them a call. For now, that's the latest here in York County. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.